That's right, it's the Nerdy Podcast. Go and check us out on facebook.com forward slash nerdy media, on Twitter at Irish Nerd, and go to patreon.com forward slash nerdy. Throw us a few quid so we can buy a studio, start banging out videos, and doing more and more things for you. Hello, and welcome to the Nerdy Podcast. I'm Aid, and I'm here with Murray. Oh, hey. I'm here with Steph. Hello. I'm here with Gar. Aid is into pissing on people. <laughs> and I'm here with Ken. And then pissing on him. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Nerdy Podcast. Goodbye. Good so speaking of bodily fluids, Punisher was shite. It was uh, not good. A bar from the last. Even two you didn't like it. Yeah. A bar from bar the last two minutes. Yeah. It's that not, last scene was fantastic, but no. I actually looked at the fight because you all said just YouTube the fight, right? And you guy, the gym fight. The goddamn yeah. 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 The fight at the end, right? No. They're hitting each other with chains and poles, yeah. right? Yeah. If I hit you once in the face with a with a metal bar, yeah. you're just dead. You're not getting up. Yeah, but we don't exist in the same universe as Thor. Yeah, but you know look, I mean? yeah, but yeah. the Punisher has zero magic powers. Doesn't right? matter. He's a he grunts. Yeah, grunt yeah, all you want. If I hit you with a pipe yeah. to the head, you die. He, he, he also well. famously has an insane, unbelievable tolerance for pain. Like to the if point I hit you with an iron bar in your skull, to the point where he's had s- the point where he's had the, what surgery. I'm is, the, the violence was too extreme with weapons that you wouldn't get off. If they were just punching each other, fine. You tried to tell me you thought that a television show was too violent. No, what I, happened to you? No, it was unrealistic. I'm not, I'm not, You're from the north. I'm, I'm <laughs> saying yes, exactly. And, <laughs> and when we have people with lead pipes, they don't get it back up, yeah, right? You obviously, never had a Frank Castle. Yeah, look. I just thought he was, went and sorted out rounds. Yeah, in yeah. the comics, he did. <laughs> did he? He did. Yeah. Yeah. He grunted yeah. on them. Yeah, he and did. That, he went to Belfast. The whole comic book, whole series of yeah. Punisher. Is this how the fucking Good Friday Agreement came? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> so the backstop is bring back the Punisher. But my favorite thing yesterday was <laughs> the, the fucking that thing escaped from the zoo when everybody just kept posting up the red panda Ulster. <laughs> 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 I didn't see that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look at the red panda oh, The red well, panda Look at that, <laughs> that waveform <laughs> Fucking hell lads That's fantastic We blew the bollocks out of That's just a solid block The red panda old star Fucking That's amazing. amazing But anyway yeah Fucking this Punisher TV show Is uh, It's not as good as the first one And the first one was Wishy-washy for a lot of people Yeah But this My problem with the second series Is that They spent way too much time Trying to uh, uh, Humanize Frank When they didn't spend enough time Showing him being the Punisher yeah. Like see all those fucking uh, the very, very last scene is just a shootout scene. It's not. It's only the way it's it's handled and yeah. done. That like, it's, like it's basically a post credits. Yeah. Like I re- I reckon that if they if they were getting a season three, that wouldn't have even been in there. Yeah, at all. that's just a little lip service. Yeah. W- one of the th- one of the things I read online, which I didn't actually quite realize, that they they tried to stay away from the the kind of Garth Ennis, Steve Dillon fan service, like where they what they didn't want it to be that gratuitous, but. So it doesn't I, go avoid I, the wrath. I think, <laughs> I think once they realised they weren't getting another season, yeah. they had to put something in like that with I the fu- like, with the fucking trench coat. See, I feel like that fucking comes away. I feel like that scene is just. I seen loads of people talking about that that scene online and having a big fucking fucking proper nine roper over it. I, I, you didn't it, even get a little. It didn't do thing, no? fuck up. I mean, it's like I thought it was. I thought it was like, hey. There's him in his iconic look. That's what a short. That's have. a that's a cool thing. I didn't go nuts over it. Like it didn't make me go. Didn't, like I didn't go clap my hands or go. Oh fuck, that's awesome. Yeah, it's like yeah, no, nice. I, I, I watched it like seven times in a row. For real? Yeah. No, like I've only watched it the once. I thought it was the like, screaming yeah, got me after a couple of times. <laughs> I was like, it's just like he knew. I think he knew it was a meme. Yeah, and just yeah. hammed it up for that bit. Yeah. Like, like I watched John Wick again last night and it's fucking great. John Wick's so good. Well. I can't wait for the third one. Yeah, so like that's they should just be making a TV show of John Wick, right? They are. Yeah, yeah, they are. Apparently. No, but you, what I mean but is the Punisher universe, should yeah. just be that, right? Yeah, and it's not. That's I mean, it. Yeah. Keanu's signed on to appear in one, one or two episodes of it. Like a fucking Jonathan Wick or something. Yeah. No, it's like straight up John Wick. So I, I it's guess just a deal he's just a hotel. No, he's playing himself. I I think the the thing about this season was. Playing, yeah. I, I remember we talked about season one. And the first time we talked about it, everyone had gotten to about episode eight. And we were like, oh, it's going a bit slow. Mm. It might pick up towards the end. Mm. And then they kind of, the last few episodes yeah, did yeah, pick up in yeah. season one. And I think the same thing happened last week where we, we were at about episode eight mm. here. And we were like, oh, hopefully that'll happen again. And it, it just didn't. Not really. It just, yeah. it just didn't. It's. I, I actually read a thing. I think it was like Vox.com or something put an article up about it. And th- th- their opinion was very, very close to the way I feel about it. And basically what they said was the violence like the scenes of violence 
a beautifully shot. Mm. Um, it's so like unrealistic and like gratuitous that it weakens the already kind of shitty weak writing. That's the filler. That's the lead up to it. You know what I mean? So like the the facial, it's so good that everything else by comparison. Yeah, but like the facial prosthetics are just like lads getting two digs and then half their faces blown out. Like yeah, you know, it yeah. was it was a bit much. Like it, it's listen, it, it was fine. I, I, if that's the best they have to offer, then glad it's gonna be cancelled. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If yeah, yeah. It, like because I, I wouldn't, that I, I wouldn't be into watching another one. That anymore. season doesn't deserve. Punisher no, three. no, no it it, if absolutely. that would absolutely put its head in the chopping, chopping block. So, mm-hmm. as the, I haven't seen it in a bit, and I never will. Uh, he's amazing, yes. That, that, what, yeah. what I'm going to ask is, he's outrageous. D- Disney, right, are pulling all these Marvel mm. shows because they're doing their own streaming service, right? Do you think they're going to keep him? Probably not. No, I, I don't think they're, they're not going to want to be affiliated he, with another company's product. I think they're wiping their hands of this. Because I saw a thing today, right? A guy did a YouTube video on it that already this year alone, Disney are losing $1 billion on streaming things. They, have, they had to buy some stock from Hulu or Hulu or whatever yeah. it's called. Hulu. Hulu chat, right? <laughs> <laughs> from the Hulu. Oh <laughs> You're my, you're my man now. Yeah. And it works on two I, I don't think you've ever sounded older before. Can I <laughs> can I stream the Beach Boys on Spoofy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, yeah. Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Yeah. Anyway, so they 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 lost money on that. Yeah. They lost money on some other thing that they they bought some tech company for the to enable the streaming. And then the other thing is, <clears throat> like I was saying, Disney right now don't own the rights to Star Wars movies. Hmm. to show on their streaming channel and the earliest that they will get any Star Wars movie is 2024 god damn and the first movie that they're going to get to show on their streaming service is going to be episode 9 god damn because supposedly Kathleen Kennedy sold them to Turner or Warner or one of those companies so they own Star Wars right now the streaming rights were sold before the Disney Lucasfilm merger right so right now Disney as a channel is going to launch a streaming channel and it has the Mandalorian that's it and that's it yeah. right it's gonna have, isn't it going to have a, a Loki show as well well it's not going to have the movies but yeah, it's going to have, gonna have the Star I, Wars like, um, animated shows as well it's yeah. also going to have everything else that Disney have made, which I don't know if you know, but Disney made a lot of shit that a lot of kids watch. Yeah. Nothing to do with us. Yeah, no, but well, kids have parents. And parents and, want those kids and, to shut the fuck and up. Then, and then, yeah, I know, I understand, but what I'm saying is right now they don't have new original content. New original content, and they're not going to bring. The Marvel shows that have been made. No, so it's, it seems I mean, to me that they have to make stuff and make stuff quickly. Kind of, yeah. But like, you look at the uh, didn't Warner Brothers launch immediate streaming service last year? And what was they put Birds of not Birds of Prey? What was that one that went on Netflix? Titans. 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 They put Titans on it, yeah. and then they put Titans on over here on Netflix because I don't think I, I don't think that thing there. It's not available here. So they, I don't know how well that service is doing. Yeah, but they managed to launch it. And that's the thing but they didn't have a wealth of stuff but then there's Amazon Prime and there's so many streaming services yeah. going to be in well, America, how much right? does Amazon Prime have that's original Man in the High Tower or a Castle it's getting um, that Lord of the Rings top gear. Yeah. it's getting it but Amazon yeah. Prime has existed for yeah, it's, a while it's basically got, while. it's basically got a gra- the so, Grand yeah, Tour it's got the Grand Tour and it's got Man in the High Castle or whatever it's called and that's it it's also owned by the richest man on earth yeah uh, half yeah, richest half man, richest man. <laughs> <laughs> it's owned by the richest man and woman yeah yeah exactly the richest couple yeah, yeah, no, like, yeah. yeah, they can definitely throw money at it, but like, I don't think you need to have a vast, ex- expansive amount of original content to get people to sign up for it. If you've yeah, got, but what, if this you, like, I was looking at the it's guy interesting there because I, I wondered why the Star Wars movies more because that Disney part of the Disney streaming service already exists. The one that has all the like Disney original movies, like all the cartoons and stuff. Yeah, and all that exists as a service now, but they don't have any of the Star Wars stuff, and they're not even like. Hinting at it, yeah. The cancer, yeah, yeah. It, make, it makes sense now to hear it that they don't have it until what the next five years. Yeah, I, I think with those Marvel Netflix shows, it's actually kind of shit because they they knock the casting out of the park for the most part, bar yeah. maybe Iron Fist. Yeah. I think I think Finn Jones. I know I I, I understand some of the reasons why yeah. he maybe wasn't as great, and I know we we've, we've kind of said it a few times on previous episodes, but he's the only one that was kind of eminently replaceable. I think Bernthal's amazing as Punisher. He's so good. Like yeah. um, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, 
they're fantastic as well. Like yeah. they both are really good for the character. Charlie Pin has to be in a movie. Char- in Charlie Cox is Daredevil. I could hate like he's good, but I could see them wanting to. Would anyone be good enough for Daredevil for you? Well, not. I mean, I think it's. I just think it's more. You like Ben Affleck back, don't you? I agree. <laughs> I would <laughs> probably <laughs> rather shit my hands and clap. Um, but yeah, like Ken said, Vincent D'Onofrio was Kingpin. So good, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Like if he if he doesn't ever get to play that character again, and he, even he stated that he that's fucking loves that's a travesty. That I think he's going to be in Spider Man Three. Like he wanted to apparently he put he wanted to be in, he wanted to be in Punisher. Yeah. Yeah. Bur- Burnthal did an interview after the um, after season two came out. Just the, you know those interviews to kind of the press to hype yeah. up the the fact that it was out. And someone said to him, "No, they didn't." I don't think they said if there's a season three. They basically said, "Who do you want? Who do you want the villain of season three to be?" And he straight up said Kingpin. Mm. And Vincent D'Onofrio retweeted the article and said, "Let's do this." Mm. Yeah. So you know, and he's been. If you follow him on Twitter, he there's a Save Daredevil. It's like a petition thing that isn't going to work because it's been cancelled and all the costumes have been sold. But it's got like three hundred thousand signatures now. Well, his costumes are balaclava. I mean, well, the actual well, no, like the, the big leather suit. Just Even just everyone's someone. fucking clothes, like yeah, like yeah. everything got sold. Yeah, and Moody has another one of them. Spare big letter suit. Uh, no comment. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> but like, D'Onofrio D- 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 is pretty he, sure he's seen the jacket. To be honest, he's been he's been pimping that that petition to get the show renewed for season mm. four. Mm. So he's invest he's invested in that character. So oh, he loves it. Yeah, you yeah. know, mo- like there's some that they. they some of those castings are are perfect, but yeah. But if they now, did we ever figure out are they under contract with Netflix or under contract with Marvel? I yeah. thought I heard that the renditions of those characters in those Netflix shows are tied to Netflix. Yeah. So those actors as those characters in those roles are employees are Netflix. Netflix. Are Netflix. But, also, that, but that license has been revoked by Disney. Well, the, so the Daredevil license has been revoked, yeah. but the. Well, it hasn't. They, the show has just been cancelled. Yeah, there, there's been no announcement of another Daredevil. But show. He, even even if Disney bring back the license of Daredevil to themselves, like they they will have it. The rendition of that character by Charlie Cox, Cox can't is play Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie yeah. Cox can't so, play yeah. it. So what? But they could turn around to the community and say, "We Disney would like to make Daredevil with Daredevil? this guy," and Netflix won't let us. And then there'll be a big campaign. To get everyone to say, please set them free. Give them, yeah, yeah. right. But and, uh, and the but public I mean, will want it. If you, if, if there's a, a petition the, to get for in Kingpin, in, but all the we'll all sign it, right? Or mm. I won't because don't sign. It. Whatever. <laughs> but like all those props and costume are gone. Like that shows. Yeah. That universe is dead. And, and I think. Well, yeah, no, Ken's like not talking it, about like, Ken's just talking about getting that actor to be like make yeah, him a new yeah. suit. It's a white suit. Yeah, yeah, it's but, like you get a new, you get a tailor in. The Disney back also have all the money in the universe, so it doesn't really yeah. matter. Yeah, I, I think I assume they're all dead. They're those incarnations, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. that incarnation, which is that's what I'm saying. It's a shame. See what they could do is they could use the Thanos thing, right? To say, flick the fingers, half the people are dead. Yeah, kill half of them, keep the half you like. Or we don't know what that movie is going to happen. That movie could come back where the, the thing doesn't happen, or it could put us into a different universe. Where some of them look like the original ones and some of them look like someone else, right? Yeah, I assume that's like they the can plan. they can that, do this any way they like. That right? that is that was the theory of if the Fox deal went through in time, yeah. that's how you could I do mean, alternate it's... reality bullshit and you come back and the X Men just exist. Oh. That's how you ham fist the likes of the X Men and the Fantastic yeah. Four back into the universe. Yeah. Well, the Fantastic Four are easy. Like you just do their origin story and their new heroes. Yeah, but the like, X Men are more yeah, like how you can't add because I I remember months ago we had. A bunch of conversations about this drunkenly, that like you can't add mutants to a universe. No, you can't. Like, no. there's no way without you can mention do it. of them previously. Yeah, without right. previous mention of mutants. You can't. You just no, can't. You, can, you can just, you just say. Can't. You can just say uh, as part of as part of the spell being broken. Now people are mutants. have mutant powers. There's a, there was a, a, a tachyon pulse that went through. But the, how do you explain the, the Wolverine to 180? Well, you just you started from scratch. Or like apocalypse was like three thousand years ago. Time so more travel. even. But that, that's if they want. I mean, to, that's I mean, if they want to bring that. Like, I think if they, I think if, that Egyptian if, guy, if, I don't if, care if when ever exists, Disney right? ever start making X Men movies, I think all the Fox stuff is gone. Yeah, no, I agree. Garbage. Like, a, yeah, but I mean, like, there is, there's a lot of, if there, there's a lot of stories, if they want to do them, they do have to set up those characters. Yeah, it's, it's a, I, I'm not sure how they're gonna do it, but I think if that Fox deal had gone through in time for 
this Avengers movie. Mm. That's probably what they would have done. Mm. That there would have been some weird time travel bullshit, go to a different Earth, and the lads are there. Like, if they really wanted it, they could have you Jackman to just stand up on the screen and everyone would shit their pants. Yeah. And what, then they can explain it later. What the, was it? Wor- what? the worst explanation I heard, which was one my roommate said, of it's just Professor X made people forget about you. Mm. And that's fucking terrible. That that's just terrible. lazy. Like, that's the biggest cop-out reason ever. But wasn't there the weird thing where if you... Um, no, I, I haven't looked since I saw it a couple of weeks ago, so I haven't seen if they've changed it. But if you Google... Hugh Jackman movies or famous Hugh Jackman movies or popular Hugh Jackman movies or whatever it is Avengers Endgame appears in the list Mm. so they didn't know whether that was something because I think that it was it pulls stuff from like IMDB and things like that or or it was it was it was just it could be or it was people thought it was someone from Google or IMDB taking the piss and just fucking with people Um, tell me this this is is, I I can't figure this out right so the last fucking thing was uh, Infinity Wars yeah. part one, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They no, they, they dropped that. It. So it's just Infinity War. It used it's to be part one. Now it's just Infinity it's War. A, it's a scary shit. I don't know what the fuck was going on there the other day. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like uh, for me, it was Infinity War part one. Yeah, and now the name was called Endgame. Endgame. Yeah. It's not Infinity War. Part yeah, one. they no, dropped no. the name Infinity War for the second movie, and they're just calling it Endgame now. They dropped it before. Yeah, they dropped it a couple of months before Infinity War came out. Okay, where it was Infinity War and then unnamed Avengers sequel. Okay, because for somebody, I just in my head it was always just part yeah, one. No, no, no. Yeah. It was originally part one and part two, and then I thought I was getting a middle film, and then we were going to get yeah. part two. It was, I yeah, no, I was it was originally part one and part two, but the, yeah. uh, yeah. years Thor three come out after Infinity War before 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 yeah. everything, so no everything really... has come out before. The only thing that kind of happens around the same time is the Ant-Man. very end of Ant Man two yeah. happens at the same time as the, as the flick. Yeah. As the flick. Yeah. 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 That's it. Everything else has been before then. Okay. Yeah. No. So, and they haven't released anything, so they're not going no. to do three more Captain movies. Ma- Captain no. Marvel is coming out in between them, but that's based but that's in the pre- 90s. Yeah, it's a prequel. So, okay, yeah. uh, and then the next movie that's coming out is Endgame. Okay. The next um, the next one that's... Is that pre- it No. No, then there's more, more like, movies after. Spider-Man, the second Spider-Man movie yeah, is coming out, but episode. that's in July. Yeah. Yeah, what he's saying is the MCU, that's yeah. the end of phase, just the rebuild phase, of phase four. Kind of. Like, there was meant to be another Guardians, but now that's up yeah, there. That's, yeah, yeah Guardians 3 had a script. Mm. There's definitely but, another Black Panther. Because that made a billion million. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the, like, that's been confirmed and, like, the script is finished. I this think. is, the, like, this. I, I've said this to a few people before. This is the thing that makes me feel bad for little kids now. Like, remember when you were a little kid and you watched Star Wars and you might remember this more. Mm. Remember, like, when that was in the cinema, you didn't know because of contracts or whatever. Mm. That I didn't even know Empire Strikes was, was ever going to be made. But that's it. Or Return of the Jedi. Like, like when they just came out and you went. Oh, when oh, Han go, when Han dies at like the, the play, end play of play Empire, you don't know because the actor has signed up for this contract to do the next movie. Yeah. yeah. Right? Whereas the magic, now, now the yeah, the, gone, ma- the magic yeah. of it is like, oh shit, he's actually dead. Whereas now it's you've got Spider. Well, they signed up for three movies, so we can't be dead, right? But you've got you've got trailers for the new Spider-Man movie coming out. But if you if you're a little kid and you watch Infinity War, Spider Man's dead. That's far yeah. you know he got turned yeah, to dust. Yeah. 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 But now he's in this new trailer, so you know. Spider-Man. So you know he's all right. Yeah. The same with the same with all the Guardians. Like when all that stuff came out about the director, and you had all the cast signing this like, you know, oh yeah, we're working on we're working on Guardians Three. We want to make Guardians Three, and then you watch the End Game or Infinity War. You're like, mm. all you fucks are dead. Like all your characters are dead. But we know you're all coming back. Like obviously, you have a, the same with Black Panther. Yeah. Everyone knows Black Panther's coming back because he, it's like the most successful movie they've ever had. Because it it's Wakanda a, forever. It was not for Wakanda like, for a yeah. year. It's the it was it, the last one before. Like, like the yeah. magic of it. Yeah, like you said, the magic of it is gone. Well, I mean, they telegraphed Doctor Strange telegraphed that this is not how it's going down. Yeah. This is mm. there's a there's yeah. a million ways, and this is not the one, right? Yeah. So whatever. It's more than just like it's it's completely impossible to find. It's like we all knew Jon Snow was not staying dead, right? Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's exactly the same. Yeah. But but it, one of the funny things just from talking to some of the lads that, that work in comic shops as well, just to after the first Infinity War movie came out, um, in a couple of different comic shops, the Infinity Wars, or was it just called Infinity or the Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity Gauntlet. the series from that, the early nineties that that, that, that the movie is based off of, became the number one selling graphic novel for a few different comic shops because it was people going to see. What like with l- like with Game of Thrones, oh, I, I need to read the next book to see what happens next yeah. season. They needed, they wanted to get an idea of 
how that mo- the second how movie's going to end. Full blown sick and around it. Have you read that fucking book? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. terrible. It's, you read that fucking comic thing, and you're going to find out what happens. And all of a sudden, Thanos is talking to a fucking skeleton in a robe and a fucking <laughs> flat coin shape. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is Adam Warlock? Yeah, like, you know, yeah. God, Jesus Christ. No, I know you got. If you watch Guardians two, you you, you, you might have an idea, but yeah. still. Yeah. Holy shit! Is it going to end like that? No, it's better not, right? No, no. no. They, they they cut out the whole like the romantic for, death. Like yeah. for a long for a long time, like I think Civil War is the first Civil War or Age of Ultron. I'm not, which came out first? What? I can't remember. Comedy. Age of Ultron. Came Age of Ultron. So like from Age of Ultron, uh, from even that far back, they've been adapt. They've been taking names of comics and kind of taking parts from them. That they've never been, they've never been super tight to the movie, the storylines they've been adapting. Civil War was close enough to the comic book, not really. Apart from the whole missing Spider-Man thing, and the Negative Zone, and the skull getting blown up, and yeah. Goliath. No, but it starts out with fucking. Hang on, like, yeah, no, the, the, the civil, like the the core tenets of Iron Man versus Cap. That's it. Yeah, over that's the, over a registration. But over like fucking like speedball blown up and yeah. all this kind of shit. Like that's yeah. in the comic as well. But that's not in the movie. It's, it's speedball's not in the movie. It's Who, a bomb. How's it cause? It's a bomb. It's just a, like. Is a, it? So, yeah, so in, in the movie, Crossbones has a bomb strapped to his chest. Oh, they're going through the markets and shit. Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. yeah. And, not a thing in the and Scarlet, like very, very and Scarlet Witch, War. Scarlet Witch fucks him into a building and he blows up. Is that what that is? Well, yeah, no, yeah, she, yeah. she just raises him in the air and it, it's she's. I can't remember any of these. Yeah, yeah there's too many. They use the whole. Tony has PTSD thing now so they decide that Tony says right we all have to be registered Yeah, we yeah. have to be registered yeah. as opposed to in the comic it was a case of a whole school got blown up and like 500 kids died yeah. Yeah. and then the government basically said all you folks have to be registered now we can't yeah. have this anymore all right, so just the core elements of it yeah. is the same so yeah, yeah. It's, I can't fucking remember that so, so move, yeah. moving swiftly Stop on it, you. <laughs> um, so who is going to be playing Anthem this weekend mm. so Anthem yeah. which is Bioware's the Bioware's Destiny, Bioware's Call of Duty, whatever the fuck it is. I, I don't know. I it's, like, it's, it's Diablo Warframe Destiny. Yeah. Bioware's version of that. Like, I'll I, download it. And, I bought like it. I said earlier, the reason I'll download it is to convince myself that I don't want to buy it. So, so they're doing, for for those of you that don't know, they're doing a, a kind of an open open beta this weekend. Mm. I, I don't know if it's more of a server stress test. Or, I actually didn't know that. I might, I might actually play that. Um, they did the VIP demo last weekend. Yeah. I've been watching videos of people talking. They don't about need it. to do a server stress test because they did that VIP demo on the oh, server. Well, I shite. Yeah. Well, generally those open betas are uh, like any time in the last year or so. I've seen a company push out a game into like an open weekend. They market it as a break. Like the the last example would be when Magic the Gathering put out their Hearthstone equivalent. Mm. They basically had a weekend to say we're going to invite as many people as possible try break our servers if the server goes down you get packs so they wanted to see what their limit was so I kind of just assumed that any sort of public test no, this is, is just a stress test like, this, this, this is, this is a only, demo to get people to be interested well, in no, it. The, the, only, the only way you got into the VIP one was if you pre-ordered the game so you've uh-huh. already given them money yeah yeah. yeah. like it's just yeah but it's just the, this one that's coming no, the, one, the one that's coming up yeah that's yeah, probably it's, that's open yeah. 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 Is, this, is this a Playstation exclusive yeah no, no it's not it's totally now the thing is People were saying on the VIP demo, like the cutscenes were breaking and breaking the game where you had to kill the game and go back in. And for a game that's what three weeks out, no, a lot of these, yeah, end of February. Oh, a lot of these things. Now they said oh, a lot of those bugs that, that was an old build for the VIP demo. It's a six week old. Why are you using a six week old game? Mm-hmm. Do a one week old game. For fuck's sake, like. Mm-hmm. But anyway, if that game is buggy as shit, six weeks out from release. Obviously, day one patch is going to be like twenty gigs. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, right. So forget about playing that as soon as it comes out. That's what it's all point and point. I, I, I don't understand why people are still buying physical copies of things. So they can sell them back to game and get twenty quid off. Well, again, th- there, there's a very good reason why people are still buying physical copies of things. Like we can talk about it in a second. Mm. But uh, from what I, from I watched videos of people playing it, and everyone said it looks gorgeous. Yeah, flying like Iron Man is great. Your individual powers, each class gets different powers. Is that the way it works? I've seen a trailer, and is it, is it just set classes, or do you get to build an exosuit? You've got basically set. four. Just set. Yeah. Well, they, you, 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 well, you change your yeah. weapons. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can you have a heavy, a, a, a scout type. Fast, fast one. one. Exactly right. Bullshit, right. Yeah. Same thing as Destiny. One with knives. Yeah. 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 So, it's like Titanfall, you know, you, you've got your Titan, and that's set. <laughs> like Kill Bill. Yeah. 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 Black Mamba and fucking all them. Yeah. So the. The powers that each class has is supposedly really fun. Right. 
but then supposedly everyone said the weapons that you actually get feel really weak so you go up and do your mega power and kill four lads and then your power isn't powered up again so then you start shooting lads and nothing's happening the guns are shit to encourage you to grind to get better guns yeah and it supposedly there's real worries that because it's EA they there's haven't explained micro the microtransactions yet will it just be cosmetic will it be buy weapons what yeah. will it be how much will it be all of this stuff has not been announced two weeks out so you're buying a game that you don't know how much, how much it's going to cost right to really yeah. play it and that, that it's also just really shallow mm. Like it showed, it's, it originally sold you. You're walking through the market town and you're chatting to people and getting RPG missions because it's Bioware, but you're not really. Supposedly, most of the chatting is like, there's two options. Do you want to do this? Yeah. Yes or no? There's, like, I, I saw um, there was like a press event. So they're playing probably the latest build and they yeah. got to bring footage back with them. And one of the things they did was they walked around the kind of hub area, yeah. you know, where you go and you get your missions and you talk to all the NPCs. And they said the thing they noticed, and the thing that you, yeah, you really did notice it was, all the NPCs are just standing around. Like, there's just some lad standing on the corner, and it's, that's all he does all day. So he's always he just, going to be there. He just stands there all day, and he just waits for you to go up and talk to him. Whereas, you play some other games now that have, like, hub worlds like that, and, like, the, the characters are doing shit. There's at least, like, villagers or people who live in the town that do fuck all other than just mill around to make it look like people actually live here. To make the or, world look living. Yeah, livable. other than just this quest giver. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like a very basic MMO kind of yeah. Yeah, yeah the other thing I remember seeing as well was like the gameplay looks to me like the Mass Effect multiplayer looks just down to a T other than now you can fly like the guns yeah. the abilities are just proxies for like the bionics and the tech powers that you used to have in Mass Effect yeah. you know they're just there's probably i say if you ran down a list of them you could probably like cross them off like that so one, like, that you're, one, you're thinking stuff. they just basically took I think they took the guts they took of, assets from I don't think they took assets, but I, th- I think they took the guts of what the Mass Effect multiplayer was, which was basically and reskinned it. four players. Yeah, yeah and reskinned it, let you fly around as Iron Man. Because yeah. the, the other thing everyone says is it's the same. Every mission is the same. Go to location and either hold it for five minutes or go to location, kill forty dudes. Go to location, kill big dudes. Kill yeah. forty dudes until you get ten items. You know that kind of shit. So this is a space Assassin's Creed, like kind of. I guess it's yeah. just ladder and repeat missions. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, like supposedly some of the monster kills are good and that you, you get there and there's four of you and there's this big guy and he has a, a bit like a Dark Souls yeah. end of level boss where he does certain things and you can only really damage him at a certain time but yeah, <laughs> I, I, think it, I think it's something a few of us are maybe going to give a bash over the weekend <laughs> 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 and, and then we'll play some Anthem yeah. Um, but yeah what, what was good, the reason that you don't buy games digital anymore this is coming out of Nintendo um, I think it's it's after tomorrow, the thirty the thirtieth of January, is the last day that the eShop for the Wii and the Wii U is open, and after that they're completely shutting it down. You can't buy any new games, mm-hmm. and you can't re-download any of your previous purchases. Okay. So let's say I have a Wii U and I I bought. You break it. You get I, a new one. If I bought my Wii U and every every game I bought was digital. Yeah. If that breaks on the thirty first of January, that's it. Game I'm over. Fucked. I'm game game over. Like. Why are they doing this? Because um, Nintendo don't understand the internet. Yeah. And yeah. based the, they've they've obviously decided that enough people have the Switch that they don't need to keep open this web. This web so they don't want to support it it's like Windows 95 they, they don't want they don't want to support yeah. it anymore well, by the same like like Gary said like if you if you go out and buy Anthem in GameStop this weekend or next weekend or whenever it's out and you get your disc and you bring it back that what's on that disc is not going to be playable it's, it's without, two towards the game yeah, yeah. that's just probably, the key probably not, to let you play the actually, game actually that, that's a really good one that Fallout 76 disc that was about a gig on the disc, and all that all that disc did was launch the web browser. Just install, so just, okay. just install. Yeah, yeah. So all the data for that lived on online. So yeah. even if you bought physical copies of all your games from now, so much of them is kept up in the cloud. Yeah. That if they do ever decide to <coughs> put the service down, that yeah, you're basically fucked. It's like Adobe Reader. You're like shit. Adobe Reader's only one meg, and you can load it. It just fucking starts downloading for half an hour. Yeah, that's interesting. Like it's it's, it's an interesting way of thinking about it. Yeah, it's worth. So you don't own games anymore. You're basically renting a game for a finite amount of time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, like never buy physical copies. This is that's something that really. I, I also pure digital. Yeah, yeah it's just boring. like uh, I think it was unless there's a probably, preferential with the game. Probably two or three years ago, uh, Rockstar decided to make a change where they didn't want to pay for the music, the royalties in San Andreas anymore. Yeah. So they updated the game on PC, the Steam copy of it. And they pushed out an update automatically. 
So now if you you have it, and even if it's on your if it's on your thing, it takes those songs away. For real? Yeah. So all the really good like hip hop songs, mm. like good like mm. not there anymore. It's gone. Well, yeah, I know it's in GTA the, Five that Leon, you know the talk radio that Leon yeah. did from Curb, he's gone. Yeah. All, all, so a lot of that stuff they, they did the same thing with Five as well, where a lot of the uh, and, and Four, where a lot of the like licensed tracks they had were like licensed characters or whatever. They they were like, ah, oh, we'll pay we'll pay for those for ten years or five years, and then they're gone. And then they went, oh wait, people are still playing that. Did we want to pay for them again? How much will it cost? No, we're not doing that. So Leon got screwed, yeah. Yeah. So they just take it out. But that's some of the best stuff to listen to when you're driving. Yep. It's like, that's fucked up. That's mad. But you really are, like, at, at, the point, at this point in time now, unless you're buying, like, a cartridge game, which I don't, mm. like, who makes a cartridge game? Like, Switch, Switch games are Switch cartridge games. games, are games are cartridge, yeah, so. But even a, a lot of those bigger, there's there's certain games for Switch that you can't get a cartridge for. Like, um, was it L.A. Noir? They, they ported to Switch. Yeah. And it was so big. It was, there's certain games that are digital downloads only. And I think it's either that they don't want to. There's they, a limit on the cartridge. They don't want to produce the cartridge, yeah. or they just there's not enough space on them. I don't know how much space is on a Switch cartridge. Uh, I, I'm not, not sure about the cartridge, but also if you buy a Switch and buy like a download code for La Noire, you have to buy an SD card because it really? do, it doesn't fit on the system storage. Yeah, it's there's only like. 32 and it's like a 35 and, and, and realistically you, the there's 32 gigs on board memory 32 gigs as a switch but like 7 of it is the operating system so yeah. where is it the so, DS was 512 meg the 3DS uh, was 8 gig and the switch is 32 gig yeah um, 32 gig is nothing yeah. absolute scooter no it's and, not no Another thing, another thing coming out of Nintendo. They they announced this. It was over the weekend, or it was on Monday. Um, I can't remember exactly when, but um, they announced. So Metroid Prime Four was going to be one of the big games that they brought out this year. And um, there hasn't been a Metroid Prime game for I don't know how many years. I don't know when Metroid Prime Three came out. Uh, yeah, game two, two thousand five. Yeah, so it, like it came out when I was in secondary school. It, it's one of the it, it's one of the kind of longest hiatuses for one of their. One of their probably oh, one of their yeah. flagship yeah. Uh, franchises. There have there yeah there, there's been Metroid games since. Um, but they're all been spinoffs and yeah. handheld games. No, there's been there's been full series ones, but they've all been but they that, they've all been the classic Metroidvania yeah. style games. Yeah, there's been no Metroid. Right, there's Prime. been no Metroid Prime game. Um, so games are first person. Yeah, they're first person. Yeah, okay. that that was one of the that was essentially one of the big kind of hype points for this year. So there's going to be there's like an and for. This year for Nintendo, that they're kind of big flagship titles. There's a new Fire Emblem game, which isn't hugely commercially successful, but it's it's built Popular. up. A fo- it's they, have, built, they have their fans. It's built up a following now. Um, there's going to be a new Animal Crossing game. Um, I think I don't know if it's coming out this year, but there's going to be a new Pikmin game coming out, which is something similar where there's been a huge hiatus and people really want it. Mm. And then the main one is going to be Pokemon. Mm. I remember when the Switch came out, and I said to you, I don't think the Switch is going to be a huge success. Okay. Right. And I think it sold more hardware than they expected initially. That significantly. Sorry. And I think that it sold that. I think huge, initially yes, but now no. no. But now no, exactly right. So it sold a good chunk to the people who really wanted the switch, right? Which is a fair amount of people. Yeah. And a huge and a huge selling of that was because of Zelda, right? Yeah. Right. And everyone's played Zelda, and I don't think a huge amount of games have come out since. To keep people mega into it hasn't. Been, it's not getting. There's been a lot of decent games, but there hasn't been like that big AAA title, right? And you're saying they cancelled this one? Well, they haven't. No, can- it, it's not been cancelled. It's just being restarted. So they they're still yeah. making so it's it. Still four years away. They right? were developing. Yeah, they were they were developing it. I think they were developing developing it in house. They made a new studio to develop and, it. Well, no, it's not a new. St- they they, no, they, they originally made yeah. a new studio to develop but it. But essentially, they they came out and said. That they've had, they essentially scrapped everything that they've done. They're starting from scratch, and they've given the game back to Retro Studios, who made the other three Prime games. Um, and basically, Pro- uh, Retro is going to start over from scratch, and mm. they're working on the game brand new as of now. So yeah, it's probably like three years away now. Right. So if if they don't have a Zelda game coming and they don't have a Mario Kart game, well, we don't know that they don't have a Zelda game coming. Essentially, they they built the engine for Zelda. So it's like with Ocarina of Time, where they built, they made Ocarina of Time, and then they brought out Majora's Mask a year later on the exact same engine. They now have this 
this engine. So they could bring out one, but they, yeah. there could be a Zelda game that they haven't told us about. But say they don't the have next. a Zelda game, right? Sure. Yeah. That's worst case scenario that this year there's no AAA game and there wasn't one last year, right? There, there is. There, we there is more coming this year. Yeah, but there's not a huge amount of them. Not like, a huge not, amount. Nothing has a release date. Right. Like, so Pik- Pikmin might exist, but we. Don't so if well, what my point is, is actually, that, if, if the switch, if the switch hardware sales tailed off a lot more at the end of last year than Nintendo wanted yeah. and it affected the share price quite badly they did pick up a little bit at Christmas but they didn't do Black Friday with what they wanted to do yeah. right? so there's not, a lot, there's not a lot of people rushing now to get I think because the Zelda wave is gone Yeah. if they don't get another good title like mid this year end of this year their game sales are going to be pretty bad well end of this year is and they're not going to sell any more Switches it's traditionally around November, October, Pokemon. Releases. Yeah, po- Pokemon's a Q. Pokemon's like a late Q three, early Q four game, and that will that'll sell infinite. That'll sell like every Pokemon game, especially a Pokemon game that's the first on new hardware, just sells a lot of systems because there is people that I buy Nintendo consoles to play Pokemon. When and when? Well, are they not the same people who buy? No, they'll just buy to, it for Zelda. No, no there's generally no. like there's no overlap. There has to be. No, there's, 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 no, there's no, no overlap, of course there's overlap, yeah. but there is. There is so the games like Zelda, the Mario games like Mario Odyssey, the main Mario games, Mario Kart and Smash, they have really high attach rates. So people that generally buy a Switch we'll buy them. will also buy all those games. But Pokemon is completely different. So you're saying that you, when that Pokemon launches, you think they're going to sell a, a serious uptake in? Oh, they are awesome. awesome. Yeah, they will. Yeah. It, particularly if it doesn't launch on like 3ds as well. It's if it also launches on 3ds, then they'd have a problem because people wouldn't have a reason to upgrade. Yeah. No, and, it, like, and is it going to be graphically amazing, or is it just going to be another Pokemon? Game? It'll probably look like the they put one out last year, but it wasn't a proper proper Pokemon. No, it, it was essentially probably look like that. I think it, it, that, I think that game that like came is in, it going to blow your mind? No, it would look nice. Yeah, but again, that like I think that the the Pokemon game that came out last year was like a teaser to show this is what we can do on this hardware with a Pokemon game. Yeah, and then they're going to crank out a proper full on dicks out Pokemon I ac- game. I actually think the Pokemon Let's Go, which is the game you're talking about, I actually suspect that was brought out as to hit the people who probably haven't played Pokemon before yeah uh, because it. because it has the a lot of cross stuff with po- with uh, Pokemon Go to the point where you don't fight wild Pokemon it's just the po- Pokemon Go catch system barely even know what a Pokemon is yeah like I think that game was brought out for people who might have played Pokemon Go on their phones and then don't know what All a right. full Pokemon is. I know what Pokemon is. Go is. It's yeah. the phone one where you throw the ball yeah. at it. Yeah, right. You play so, it that like, I think that, I think on that this game was brought out for you, basically. Uh, so you each you can take the Switch because it's portable. Yeah. And you fucking rock up the Ballymoon and you're like going to catch a few yeah. Pokemon Ballymoon. Or just get your phone out of your pocket. Yeah. Or you yeah. rock up the where I live upside Summer Hill and you got your Switch, you're walking mm-hmm. through. And you're Not quite it. like that. You know no, what I mean? Like it's, it's in the game. It just uses the same system. Okay, so you can only do on the cell So it... It only works on the south side. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. there's only Jim on the south side. Yeah. Uh, as a north sider, when you pick it up, it just melts. It just goes fuck now. No, no, no. You're not it's the reason it. I bought gloves. Yeah, exactly. You must have stolen me. Yeah. Just squirts in your face. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first major setback that they've had. Yeah. Like every every other one of those games has come out when they said it would come out, or there's been a minor delay. This is the first time that they've hit a serious roadblock with one of the major games coming up. Right. What, uh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say where a previous console this would have fucked it completely for Nintendo yeah, but there, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of third party there's a lot of third parties that are developing for it now so there is games that are coming out for it. it's not like if this had happened on the Wii U is there been, actually a lot of third parties because like does that's Assassin, my point does Assassin's Creed show up on the Switch does is the Division 2 showing up on the Switch I think they does FIFA show up on the Switch yes FIFA's on the Switch I think they are working on Fortnite's on the Switch they are working on Assassin's Creed for the Switch now I don't know if Minecraft's it's the most on the recent Switch. ones is, um, An- is Anthem on the Switch no. Anthem's not going to be on the Switch no Anthem's not that's what I mean like yeah. I'm just trying to think of like big third parties I don't know that many because e- EA historically I've never really liked Nintendo third party stuff yeah U- Ubisoft do a lot of stuff but yeah like there's not a ton of them there's a lot the, of like, indie games on it yeah there are, there's not big yeah. many triple A games like if you want to be playing, I think Square player. has got Square has gone back to working with them. The, a lot of the stuff that Square is putting out, they're putting out for Switch as well. Right. Uh, before we wrap this up, I want to do the, the Oscars. What's going on with the Oscars? I know you lads had a look at the list. Yeah, I. I didn't, I didn't touch it. Yet. To be fair, it's pretty massive. The Black Panther got Best Picture. 
or got nominated for Best Picture. Right. Like that Ugh. is genuinely, yeah, yeah. No, like you don't like it, but like it's that's that's pretty historic. I, I, it is, but it's not great film. It's yeah. I think that's atrocious. It's not a. It's I, a pandering to the masses. Yeah. I, I yeah, I don't like. It's big, but I don't know if it's deserving of it. I don't think it, it absolutely shouldn't win. I don't no. Know. No. It shouldn't be nominated as a best picture. So, Black Panther. Um, what else? There's no host. Kevin Hart's out, which yeah. is ironic because he's black, and that's maybe why they gave Black Panther the nod. Who would they fucking. Who's replacing him? No one. There's going to be no host. There's not going to be no host. Wait, there's going to be no host. It's just going to. The celebrity's going to walk out and say. This the is nominees, nominations are. Because, right. like, the host is just the guy who says, here is someone else to read the host stuff. host does, here. like, a 10 minute joke at the start. And yeah. Then he, there's a, a, there's a couple people. of there's actually surprising amounts of them in between like uh, but yeah pretty much they warm up the crowd when the crowd gets bored alright so anyway there's no one hosting it the the front runners uh, are that fellow with a woman from oh, that's okay. uh, <laughs> Peep yeah. Show Peep Show yeah you're oh, right, yeah, yeah. you won with the milk yeah sure uh, so that's that's big the Green Room's got a lot of nominations because that's Green Book Green Book. Book. Book, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. outrageously good. Is it? Because it looked to me like they were the milk of me in the trailer alone. Like, tell me, is this the movie? Hard nosed Italian mobster turns out to have heart of gold when he decides that black men aren't actually bad. Not really. Not really. That's what it looked like. It absolutely looks like that. So it's better than that, yeah. It's, it's so good. Yeah. It's so it's like Kev now to say it to me, he texts me back saying it's the best film we've seen in 10 years. Yeah. This is Shawshank Redemption level yeah. good. It's really? not good, yeah. Because I like Vice. I was talking to Gus about it today, actually. He didn't think it was as good as Gus this Gus. Big Short. Or yeah, doesn't Gus hate yeah, all everything. things? Yeah. yeah. So, or I've been friendly, Gus. Bohemian Rhapsody was shite. I haven't seen it. It's not shite. Yeah, no. It's not shite. I don't think it's It's very, be. very good. Yeah, well, he doesn't like it. It's very, very good. But, uh... I'm... Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I've heard weirdly mixed things. It's super. Like, net, like not, middle, not people saying it's middle of the ground... I think there's I've, a lot of people heard, that love it or hate it. I've heard, heard people love it, I've heard people hate it. Of course. I'd, I'll watch it, I'm not going to pay to watch it. I didn't pay to watch it. I mean, I paid very little, I got like a discount on it or something. Yeah. Mm. Shit. What did you pay for your internet? <laughs> you let no, it I have on. a service, let's put it that way. <laughs> and, um, no, it's, I watched it, it's, it's very, very good. Okay. It's, it's outrageously good if you're into Queen. Mm. It's very, very super mega excellent savage good if you've ever been in a band or been around bands and see how they interact with each other but story was you probably fucking know most of it already like, yeah there's not going to be many shockers yeah yeah, yeah shocker he dies of AIDS right oh signer uh, he doesn't Did know he get the, they don't get that far in the movie no yeah. just does like I'm spoiling the sequel then okay. yeah exactly that, yeah. that's why who was it who was the other guy that was originally going to play him yeah, that's, 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 yeah. that's why he didn't want to do yeah. it they, well he, no originally he wanted to he wanted to be on the deathbed. No, yeah. no, no. He left because originally... There's literally an interview of him saying that. Yeah, yeah. He, he wanted him dying. He wanted him dying and the rest yeah. of the band said, no, you're yeah. not doing that. And he said, well, well the, originally the rest of the band wanted to go further. No, the rest of the... Like, there's an interview of Sasha Cohen out there saying that I wanted to do this and they wouldn't let me. So yeah. I said no. Like, the rest of the band wanted to be a celebration of Queen and like they wanted the final shot to be like... They, um, in fact, sorry, you're right. The rest of the band wanted to go further. Like, we'll go on after... What and it was like nobody gives a fuck about what happened to Queen after Freddie died. Yeah, like, like the he's, origi- he's haven't put an album out since Freddie died. What the fuck? Yeah, let's show Adam yeah. Lambert singing. Who, who cares? Right. Yeah, like originally he died in the third act, and right. the, the the movie was going to go on after about the band mm-hmm. co- pulling what, together they, they and moving go on. Nobody gives a fuck. And about. Sasha went. Yeah, that's shite. Yeah, that doesn't make no fuck. That. It it ends. Well, it should it, end with it, Freddie. It's very, listen, it's, uh, there's no point in me fucking talking about it. You have to you have to watch it, right? It's it's just a good fucking two hour. Yeah, no, fucking I'm, I'm romping going music to watch bullshit. It. And fucking if you like Queen, which realistically everybody in here except for Helmet fucking does because they're fucking super. You get to hear all your favorite Queen songs, and you get to see how the band recall how they recorded it in like shitty studios, and like it, it's just very well put together, right? And that dude. The very first scene you see of him as Freddy, you don't even see his face. It's just from behind, and it's him walking from backstage, from a trailer backstage, out on the stage at fucking Live Aid. And it's like someone, it's like it's like footage from that day in reality. Yeah. He, it's, he nails it, yeah. it's fucking outrageous. Yeah. Like he is perfect. It's per. It's like he went on some sort of weird like fucking dick diet to get his body that shape and all. You know what I mean? It's just everything is right. The dick I mean? diet. Does that work, Murray? Yeah. Know. yeah. Just fucking, he just looks like Freddie Mercury, 
And after five minutes of watching that movie, you just assume you're watching Freddie Mercury yeah, play himself in a film. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how good it is. Every single prick who plays one of them pricks in that band. I thought the Brian May guy is outstanding. They're all outrageous. Deacon, the bloke, I think he was from fucking Boyga Grove or something, or some TV show. He's, they're all perfect. They all, the only one is Roger. It doesn't really look like Roger. But how do you make someone look like a fucking shaved ape? You know what I mean? <laughs> like they picked the bloke who got kind of blondy hair and fucking had at it. You know? But they're all good. And the movie itself, well, it takes some liberties with the timeline and just to make a better film out of it. Well, right? Yeah, you know. The only, because, the only scene I've seen of it is when fucking Littlefinger comes along and talks to him in a cafe. He's really... He's What's his like, accent like in this movie? It's, it's, it's what you expect it's a little finger. Yeah. Like, yeah. He sits down and yeah. goes all over it's, the fucking place. i tell you what it is. It's Change sneery. Mid-word. It's sneery. You know, he's a cunt talks out the yeah. side of his fucking mouth. Smirking again. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Like, if you, if, you, if you put that scene on and you just listen to it, close yeah. your eyes, you'd expect him to be wearing like his outfit from Game of Thrones. You just hear him say, with chaos a is a ladder. ladder. Yeah. Like, yeah. Freddy, it's a ladder. Mike Myers is in it and he plays this record executive who apparently didn't exist in real life and who was there and there's a bit about where they, they first play Bohemian Rhapsody Town they have the, the demo cut he probably says cut it out it's too long right yeah so he's, he's giving it it's too long kids aren't going to want the headbang in their car to this yeah right? so fucking they get a little Wayne's World fucking cameo fucking Joke, bullshit yeah. into it as well mm. it's very good go and see that but that Green Book thing is outrageous so what would you say would be your film of the year if we go around quickly from last year yeah of the last 12 months yeah yeah, I, I, can't fucking remember. I haven't seen fuck all movies. Yeah, I don't I don't watch enough movies that would be Do you in fucking, consideration. Jesus Why are you on this podcast? What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot this was a movie podcast. Well you're probably gonna pick the green book then, right? Well uh, that in, in my most recent memory then, yeah. yeah. That's but I'm, I'm sure I would I would pick Vice. Back. I think Vice is I, I, apparently it's excellent and everybody I've seen whatever prosthetics and makeup and bullshit that they've done everybody looks fucking super they actually yeah. look like they're supposed to look like well he just got fat like he, the, the, but he, did he get super fat and they, yeah, they put yeah, some, yeah. some no. shit on him as well no, no he, he just got fat he, he just, just got, got straight fat the only thing he's wearing is what he does it, it's what he does like it's it's called Christian Bale I know he's a like that yeah alright um, interesting because I thought, cause I thought it looked like yeah, fucking like he like went from the machinist to Batman. Yeah, true. He went from Batman to the machinist. Because they do. Oh, they, no, sorry. The, ver- the first two thirds of the movie is really good because it's narrated by the what do you call him, the cheap Matt Demon. What do you call your man from Breaking Bad? Matt Demon. Yeah, Matt Demon. Matt Demon. Demon. Right? Demon. He he kind of narrates the first part of the movie, and you you don't know why he's narrating it. Well, yeah. not to boil it. It's really good. Okay. So it's. It's a bit like the big short and a bit like Wolf of Wall Street where it kind of comes in and out. It does, it breaks the fourth wall a few times. Yeah. Like there's a scene where him and his wife are in bed chatting and they could be having a chat about anything and then it turns into a scene for Macbeth mm. because they're basically saying this is Lady Macbeth and this is fucking, she's manoeuvring him to go for her and become the mm. VP and whatever. Mm. And they do, they do certain things that I think are really good. Like... Gus didn't like someone who thought it was, they pushed it too much. I'm like, well, it's just been different. Well, they tried to make it too edgy, yeah. you reckon? Like these cunts are rock stars. Like, doesn't it look that to it? No, they just, it's just the way it's like, the first, the, the first part of the movie, it just goes like, it says something along, a, a screen text comes up and goes, this is all based on the truth, or we fucking try to, or whatever. Really? And, but it, it works, it, it's not too... Oh, they cursed it in that. Like, mm. like, there's been a couple of movies like that recently. Like that, what's that? Thank you for smoking or whatever. There's been a couple of kind of like. This is a movie, and we know it's a movie. Yeah, yeah. self-reflective. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. Uh, uh, what was the one about the the the, the mortgage crisis? The big short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, the same yeah, guy. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah, yeah. alright. Yeah. So, like, there's been a couple of those movies that, like, that's his cheap. style. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know it was like that. I thought this was just because I think they had to do it because it's just a story about. Um, of, W. Bush and Dick yeah. Cheney otherwise it would be a bit boring and a bit yeah. flat oh, so they did this to kind of jazz it up a bit okay alright well, we're going to lock that in the head and we'll come back next week cool. super right see you next week